Hi Aries, these are your general monthly messages. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel. And it's such an honor to be a part of your wondrous experience today. So we're gonna get into some channel messages that I've received from Spirit without any divination tools, and then we'll be getting into the tarot and seeing what they can clarify about these messages that I've picked up. There is gonna be a preview to the extended reading at the end of this video, so you can check it out and see if it's something that resonates with you. Um, all extended readings are available on my Patreon for $12 a month. You can get access to all 12 Zodiac readings. Check it out whenever you're ready and let's get into your first channeled message, which says, someone feels lonely. Just because you have friends doesn't mean you can't be lonely. Like you can still surround yourself with people, which I think a lot of you are doing. Like you might be meeting people and surrounding yourself with people, um, but you still feel maybe like an outcast. I'm really getting the energy of someone who feels like an outcast. You're being asked to hit up an old friend as well. Like there's this energy of needing to connect with somebody who you already know, who already understands you. Um, some of you may have been getting maybe channeling yourself about a specific person. Maybe there's been somebody old who has reached out and you know, maybe you're connecting with one in, with an old friend at the moment. Uh, but I do see this energy of either needing an old friend or connecting with an old friend. So your second message says you may meet a new lover or a new best friend after moving to a new place, a new job, etc. So. Some of you are switching jobs right now. Um, maybe you're not even moving to a new city or a new state or a new country or anything. You might just be moving to a new area in your city. Um, there is this energy of something being new, especially a place, because there's this vibe of exploration that's present within your energy field right now. And I do feel like you are gonna be going out and maybe taking initiative to go um, meet new people. I think some of you may have already that's kind of what I'm picking up. Like you may have already taken initiative, but it's, I don't know. There's something about this energy of like feeling very reserved. Maybe the people that you've met so far haven't really been that great. And not to say that they're not great people, they just don't vibe with you. Or there's an energy of like people not really vibing with you. And <laughs> somebody's like, I'm done with people entirely. That's what I'm picking up with this high priestess. It's very much a conscious of who comes into your energy type of vibe. Like you're really valuing yourself and your time because you have pedestal here at the bottom of the deck. And this is telling me that you are putting yourself kind of on a pedestal and not in like a narcissistic way or like a bad way. It, it feels like it's genuinely coming from a place of like, okay, I value my energy and I value my time. So therefore I'm going to be quite reserved with who I allow into those fields. So your card is coming up as fire element. There is this energy of exploration that's really present within the fire signs that I've picked up so far. So some of you may wanna watch the other fire sign readings. Maybe there's some things in those readings that'll resonate with you. Um, but I do see this energy of like adventure and almost like the adventure of a lifetime for some of you. Cause I, I feel like some of you are reaching this milestone um, in your life right now. You have the hermit here. so. What this is telling me is there's something that you're doing alone. There's a journey that you're taking alone. Um, you may be venturing away from your family or maybe your friend group or your old way of life. Um, but it seems like you're doing something on your own and that's kind of what creates the adventure around whatever this is, is the idea that you're doing it on your own. And for some of you, like, you could be moving to a new place completely on your own. But it feels like there's this reconnection. Some of you may be very surprised to find out that someone from your past, especially if you recently moved and you move somewhere by yourself, or, like, there's an energy of being alone. Maybe you haven't met friends yet. Maybe you're literally just completely on your own. Um... It feels like some of you may reconnect with someone from your past who might be from like 
the same place as you. It's, it's a weird energy, it's a weird energy. Like you may be from the same hometown and then like you both happen to move to the same place because you have the Three of Cups. So there's a reunion that's happening. Like some of you guys are coming into connection with soulmates. Like I said, some of you guys are gonna be making a new best friend or you're gonna be making a new, uh, a new lover in this four week period. It just feels like a monumental moment. And then look at this. The lovers. I'm telling you guys, like some of you are going to cherish the next like three to four years of your life, like starting whenever you're watching this video or maybe for the past six months, things have been changing. Um, like I'm picking, I'm picking up a period of six to nine months that displays like significant change in your life. Maybe you move. And this like six to nine month period is like defining the next like three to four years of your life or something like that. Um, there's like a really big change that you've made within the past like six months. And I feel like this is going to affect you for, I mean, of course the rest of your life, but there's something very significant that's being created here. This is very interesting. And I think it's gonna kind of take like three to four years to progress. So maybe for some of you it's a relationship because you do have the lovers. So I feel like you might be getting into a relationship and this is going to impact you for the next three to four years. Maybe you're getting some kind of job contract, um, some kind of career. Maybe you're gonna be in a, a contract with a certain company for the next like three, four, maybe five years for some of you. Because I'm hearing like secured, like something's being secured for the next three to four years. There's something that you're doing now, Aries, and, and it feels like you're either doing it on your own or you're meeting somebody. You're meeting somebody. Okay, this is, this is so trippy. Wait one second. Let me just like come back because the messages are kind of coming through really quickly. Um, I'm specifically seeing an Aries who is either meeting somebody new that is gonna like get into a romantic relationship with them or is gonna start some kind of business contract or business relationship. I'm just hearing prominent connections. Like that's what wants to come through. Sometimes these messages just come in so fast and I just, if you're a, if you're a channeler, you know. You already know. Sometimes they just come in so quickly and you cannot keep up. So your next card is dandelions. I'm seeing the energy of like a pet, like somebody might be getting a cat. It feels like a cat. <laughs> it could be a dog. It could be a dog, but it feels like a cat. You might be adopting like an older animal. Like that's what I'm seeing. Like I'm seeing somebody who's going to like a shelter and getting like a, a senior animal. <laughs> I'll say a senior, but you know, maybe getting like an old dog. Cause I'm hearing like rescue, it's a rescue. And you know, it might not be like the prettiest, but it's so sweet. It's a sweet dog. Cause I'm seeing, you know how like dogs, whenever they get a little bit older, they're not as cute as they are when they're puppies. They're still cute, granted, but you know, I'm seeing somebody who prefers kind of like older dogs to puppies, maybe because they're easier to take care of. But like I said, there is this vibe of getting an older dog or like, Picking an older pet um, from a shelter or maybe from a friend. Like you may have a friend on Facebook who's like selling their dog. They're like, oh, I'm moving. I can't take my dog or my cat to my new place. 
you know, I have to give this guy away. So I feel like some of, somebody's gonna be securing a pet, securing a relationship, securing a job. I'm just hearing the word secure. Like there's something that you're locking in on during this time period. And I really feel like for some of you, it's, I feel like for a lot of you, it's a relationship. I really do. Yeah, and then 10 of cups wants to fly out. It could be a house too. If you've recently like said no to somebody, like if you've recently rejected somebody um, or rejected something, know that your intuition knows best and you made that decision for a reason because I'm seeing some of you may have rejected a person as well. You may have rejected a certain job that was gonna pay you very well possibly, but it just like maybe wasn't what you wanted to do. Um, yeah, I'm seeing somebody who is like saying no to one thing and being a little sad about it. Like, honestly, I really do feel like there is an element of sadness here with the Eight of Cups. And then immediately walking into something that's 10 times better, whether it's a relationship or whether it's, like I said, a job or a house. Or some kind of deal because I'm hearing like a business deal so somebody here might be making a business deal but regardless something's getting secured there's an energy of something being secured um, during this four week period so let's go ahead and pull a final kind of closing energy for my Aries Closing energy for a Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And then we'll get into the extended. If you want more in-depth info on a relationship, the extended is where it's going to be. So you can check that out after this video. You have caffeine. There's this energy of excitement, guys. I'm telling you, like... I really do feel like some of you should watch the fire sign readings, just all of them, because they kind of had similar messages too, like Leo and Sag. There's this energy of like excitement because the caffeine isn't necessarily induced by the drug itself. It's more of like your own inner caffeine. You know what I mean? You're being sparked up on life right now. That's, that's what I'm feeling. Look at this. You have the fire element together with caffeine. These two cards are indicating this like inner spark with something. Something's about to get you real excited. That's what I'm picking up. There's this energy of excitement and you may already be feeling this. Some of you are already in this energy, um, but it's gonna continue. It's gonna continue for a while. Some of you might be getting a tattoo. Like there's this, <laughs> There's this energy of like spontaneity. Like I'm just seeing you doing things and just being like, fuck it, I'm gonna do this because I've been wanting to do it for the past 10 years and I never gave that to myself. So now I'm gonna give it to myself, especially with a tattoo. I feel like somebody here is gonna be getting a tattoo and it kind of feels like a reward. Like you may have had a partner that didn't like tattoos or maybe one of your parents didn't like tattoos. So you never really didn't, like you never had the chance to get one or something like that. And it's like, now you're going to be getting one. There's just this vibe of excitement. You're doing a lot of really exciting stuff during this time, Aries. I'm, I'm really excited for you because there is something here that is, it's a bubbling. It's a brewing, like coffee, right? Some of you are about to brew the best metaphorical coffee of your life. And by coffee, I mean life events. <laughs> you're brewing some of the best life events of your life. Some of the best life events <laughs> during this time. There's this energy of brewing some of the best life events of all time for this incarnation. It's, it's really wonderful, honestly, like it is. I think that some of you have a lot to look forward to this month, um, but that is what I'm seeing here. If you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. It'll take you to my website and you can book there. Um, go ahead and check out the extended after this video. There's going to be a little clip that'll kind of, you know, give you a preview to what we're going to be talking about. And I'll see you later. Take care and have a beautiful rest of your month, guys. Bye-bye. It's different. It's different than what you're used to. This person is very different from what you're used to. You've never seen this 
from anyone before. You've never seen this level of action from anyone. This person is very mysterious. There's still this shroud of mystery around them. So I feel like that's kind of what intrigues you. It's almost like, whoa, this person could break my heart. But I kind of like that. They find you very valuable. I'm serious. Like somebody here <laughs> thinks you're so valuable. They think the world of you. They really do. They think the world of you. And it might throw you off. Like I said, it might throw you off because they may get very possessive of you. They may get very jealous. Um, they may like aggressively pursue you in a way that you've never been pursued before. 